there is a new AI tool on the block. So we have seen Humane kind of flounder. We've seen Rabbit get completely roasted. There's a new player and it is Ilio. They think that generative AI earbuds are gonna succeed where everyone else has kind of failed and got super roasted. So we're gonna dive into all of that on the podcast today. Let's get into it. So right now we know that Humane's co-founders, uh, they put their startup on the market. They've actually listed or they're talking about selling Humane at I think a billion dollar valuation, but this is just a month after they launched the first product, the AI pin. This is not good optics for them. So there's a bunch of competition right now. So Humane's main, com main competitor was the app Rabbit R1. So the Humane pin just pinned on your shirt with a magnet. The Rabbit R1 was like a little device you held and it was like, we built our own device with our own AI models. Anyways, turns out it's just an Android phone running chat GPT on it. Everyone kind of did a tear down and they got super roasted. Not because it's bad, but because they said they had their own AI model and it was their own device and it's just an Android running chat GPT. They faced a bunch of, uh, you know, backlash and stuff. But at the end of the day, they were you know, they just, even though it was just like an app, essentially, it was still only $200. So that's not a big deal. The humane pin was a little bit harder of a pill to swallow because it's like 700 bucks for this pin. And it only lasted like a four hour or three hour battery life, which if you're going to wear it all day is kind of useless. In any case, all of the anticipation around the AI pin and the rabbit R1, I think show that there is a strong interest in some new innovative devices, hardware specifically that use LLMs. There's a lot of pre-orders, a lot of people talking about it. They've just been disappointed by the products that have come out so far. So there's a new company on the block called Ilio. They're the new hype product. We're gonna see, are they hype or are they legit? But they're essentially developing a new generative AI device, which is integrated into Bluetooth earbuds. Um, and they're gonna be building on the similar success of company technology like Alexa and Siri. And essentially you're gonna have these earbuds, you'll be able to tap them, talk to the AI right there in your ear. I have some skepticism and questions about this. I'm gonna get into that, but first I wanna tell you a little bit about the company. So Ilio was actually formed within Google's Alphabet. They have like a moonshot factory. Um, so this was actually spun off in 2021. Google, of course, was its first investor, but they don't hold a board seat in the company. But this is where it's coming from, which I think actually gives it some credibility. If they're coming out of Google, it's probably good. And also you can see Google's incentive for investing and trying to make this successful is all the Android devices, Apple's got their AirPods. I'm sure Google would love like a Google in-house version of the AirPods, but maybe they're like super cool, right? So Ilio's first product was a $1,650 VAD Pro. This was a really sophisticated in-ear studio reference monitor with head tracking. It was designed for spatial audio mixes and digital audio workstations. So really like high def, high quality, but kind of expensive equipment here. So the Ilio One, which is kind of this new thing that they're touting, is going to be priced at $600, cough, cough, similar to the AI pin. And that's just for the Wi-Fi model. If you want the one with like cell data embedded into it, it's $700. And I think this is kind of emphasizing they're really going for a premium audio quality um, and functionality. There is no need for a subscription fee though. So this is something that I think is kind of interesting that they're gonna be having here is you get these earbuds, no subscription fee on them. Interesting. The Humane pin was 700 bucks and you had a subscription fee. So it'll be interesting to see how they eat the cost because they need to continue to run AI models unless they figured out some magic way to fit an AI model into the tiny little Bluetooth earbud. So I'll be curious to see where that goes. Now, my biggest criticism of this device in general is like, what's the difference between this and for example, Apple's AirPods and you just like are running off of your phone. So I guess if you have AirPods, you gotta pick up your phone and tap the app and talk, but I'm pretty sure Alexa's or uh, Siri is gonna embed chat GPT into it pretty soon here or whatever Apple comes up with AI. So at that point, you'll just be able to say, hey Siri, blah, 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 blah to your phone and your AirPods will just tell you about it. I guess the difference is you wouldn't need to pull your phone out of your pocket hands-free. So I guess, okay, I'm, I'm talking myself out of my criticism. So there's some use cases where pulling out your phone is inconvenient and maybe it's in your pocket. So maybe these would be useful in those situations. We'll, we'll see. I think it's gonna be an interesting device and I'm all for new hardware devices. I know the other ones have gotten a lot of criticism, but like I think people should continue to try innovating. It's super cool when you have this innovation. So I'm excited to see whatever happens in this space there. 
There was a quote by Jason Rublo. He's actually the Ilio founder. He said, I think the key is delivering value immediately, right out of the box, focusing on the features you're gonna ship with. We believe this is a platform and we think that there are gonna be millions of what we call audio first apps, these AU apps, but people don't buy platforms, they buy products that do super useful stuff for them. So just on the sound isolation, the comfort, the music quality alone, we think that there's a very large market for these devices. Now, I think they've taken a really smart approach here. Instead of just being like, this is a you know rabbit device that answers your AI questions, <clears throat> these things, they're trying to make them good just on their own feet, right? They're like, these things are amazing headphones. They fit in your ear really comfortably. They have incredible quality. So they're trying to make the quality of the product just an amazing pair of headphones that just so happens to have AI built into them. I think this is the right approach. If you actually want to get consumers on board with them, you can imagine the alternative is like, it's really good AI, but it's like uncomfortable. People just wouldn't buy it, right? So I think they have a good shot here. I'm curious to see how this goes. It is premium. It is expensive. And I think that's kind of a turnoff. So there's some sort of line where everyone wants to be just like Apple, but at some point you like can't be too premium perhaps. In any case, I think it's interesting. I'll keep you up to date on how this rolls out and how the adoption is when this happens, what the reviews are. But if you enjoyed the episode today, make sure to leave a review of this podcast. I really, really would appreciate your feedback, your reviews over on Apple or Spotify. And if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and like the video so other people can find the video. With that out of the way, hope you have an amazing rest of your day.